My name is Arthur Roberts. Uh, I work with the livestock uh, research projects. I work as a livestock scientist with uh, poultry and fish. So basically inland aquaculture. So what I do is uh, I, I specialize in aquaculture, but I also do uh, feed nutrition for uh, monogastric animals. So that, that includes uh, chickens, fish, and pigs. What I have in display here, uh, generally, um, uh, the display is separated into two parts. So this part is uh, what we would uh, say is an emerging technology display. So we, it's, it's under, under current research. So um, the work that we wanted to do and present to our stakeholders is, uh, is presented in a way that uh, we could actually explain and demonstrate some of the research that we've been doing on current. The black soldier fly is a kind of an uh, organic decomposer of waste. So mo most of the time you'll, you'll, you'll find the black soldier fly in uh, waste, waste material, so mainly in manure, kitchen waste, and also in industrial waste processing centers, and such as uh, copper mill, um, palm canals, and other areas that produce waste in general, but in an organic form, you will find the black soldier fly um, decomposing uh, organic matter. So one of the famous places that you can find this is uh, basically pit toilets, which you'll find organic matter readily available for these guys. So we found this black shoulder fly by accident because it was uh, decomposing um, silage material for feeding pigs in 2019. And after that, we started to do uh, basic uh, background reading uh, literature on the black shoulder fly. And we, we started to develop a project surrounding uh, the larvae uh, basically for its protein content. So with, with, the, with the research, uh, we began to find out that uh, it could actually break down at least up to 50 to 60 percent organic matter and produce about 34 to 40 percent food protein. So in comparison to other available protein sources like fish meal and soybean used in formulated diets, this became uh, a formidable alternative source as a feed ingredient in terms of its protein content. So when we start, uh, started to do the initial testings, we wanted to find out what the life cycle was about to understand further how, or essentially try to uh, manipulate how best we can mass produce them in numbers so that we could use them as a, a protein feed source for feeding uh, fish, chickens and pigs. So when the project started, we started with fish first wanted to test it out with uh, talapi and carpfish. And uh, right now we are moving on to uh, feeding village chickens. So uh, our plan is to start feeding them live uh, to see the uh, uh, egg production uh, potential for it. And also move on to other areas that is attached to the black shoulder fly because there's several benefits the fly can also provide. For example, the waste left by decomposing uh, organic matter, organic waste, can also be used as uh, field fertilizer for crops. And also, it uh, besides having a 30%, uh, uh, 34 to 40% crude protein, it has also 30% uh, fat, which is quite valuable in terms of uh, nutrition towards village chickens for producing eggs. Uh, there's, there's a bit of minerals such as calcium, which is uh, quite beneficial for laying eggs and also for mothers to hatch uh, chicklings. So right now we're, we're, we're just doing basic work, trying to uh, encourage uh, more breeding of the eggs so that we can um, scale up our mass production facilities so that we can produce more black soldier flies. If you see a black soldier fly somewhere roaming around, uh, just so you know that it's an environmentally friendly uh, insect. It has a lot of potential in Papua New Guinea. And I hope that uh, uh, the video can be uh, encourage other farming communities that we have a potential protein source in Papua New Guinea and we should at least get into the thinking of uh, having it as part of a feed, uh, feed system for animals in Papua New Guinea. So like if you see it in the pit toilets, it's a, it's a good sign that uh, the pit toilet is, is healthy. It's in a health, healthy condition. Yeah. So, and, and you will notice that all pit toilets, um, the smell is stingy and go down. Uh, go down and it, it, actually, it, it actually maintains the, the surrounding area of the pit toilet, so it, it becomes much more, you know, conducive 
for use and kahit something mas yung sauce. Bay lugar sa mga, especially chicken, sa mga round round, it's our exception because they want to have a piece of this. And on this side is what we we have done and what's in relation to the current projects that we are rolling out in our with with our stakeholders outside in our farming community. Feeds themselves were were produced from an initial project back in 2012 to 2017. So it was called the Feed Mills Project under a donor funded organization that helped in producing these feeds. Uh, the formulations were done by our, our very own scientists, uh, which uh, produced two PhDs out of it. And we were able to um, have assistance from the people, people uh, from the donor agencies to produce the broiler concentrate and the pig concentrate with ingredients uh, brought, brought from uh, GIF. So Goodman Fielders uh, were working in partnership for us to produce concentrates that can be packaged to mix with other energy sources. So Papua New Guinea has uh, an array of energy sources like sweet potato and cassava. So uh, producing the concentrates were, uh, enabled um, the mixture of two different, uh, a mixture of a protein ingredient and also having cassava mixed in so that we can reduce the cost of it, but also maintain the production level for small the communities working at that time with the, with the uh, project. So. Um, the, the protein concentrates themselves, they have a bit of uh, different types of um, protein supplements. So they have blood meal, they have uh, a bit of uh, meat meal inside, uh, a bit of feather meal inside. So it was uh, a combination of different types of sources, but essentially trying to meet the requirements for a uh, protein, in, uh, protein source. So like for the pig concentrate, you have about almost 30% protein. So what you can do is you can have a 50-50 split of an energy source with the pig concentrate and you can feed it to your growing pigs. Uh, the broiler is, broiler is quite simple, also similar. You can have either a 40-50 split with the concentrate and an, also an energy source, either sweet potato or cassava, which we have tested and shown that it actually helps in improving uh, production for small-scale uh, farmers. So this mesh ones uh, is an example of the combination of both. So it's a combination of the layer concentrate uh, with cassava. So this one can immediately be given to chickens. So just to note that uh, the packages here, the ones that have the nari sticker is the ones that produced from our own mills as an example. And the ones that has the farm set uh, earmark is uh, in partnership with uh, farm set for producing our concentrates. So this one is currently on, on the shelves right now at farm set, but the, the broiler and the layer is um, on, only on by demand. So because uh, we have a good relationship with farm set, they're able to produce enough for us to run our projects where we are working uh, in, in rural locations so that um, we can continue to maintain a supply to areas that we are currently working in uh, under projects that uh, have been supported by the Department of Primary, uh, sorry, Department of National Planning and Monitoring.